on board here, board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Just then, before Izuku can oz a god roast Shigaraki alive, this is when all my burst into the door and distracts him just enough for Kodagiri to get them the both the fuck out of there. Shigaraki, upon return to Alpha 1, returns with his hands, arms, charred. He can barely move his body. His vocal cords are raspier than usual. <laughs> All for what he really says. Find me the person who did this. And that is how that ends. When it comes to All Might, the USJ is still right now a blistering inferno. Everyone else is passed out due to the excess heat. All Might is clinging to his buff form. Though, yes, he is partially healed, it is still very difficult for him to take certain damage and environments. So, he pretty much has to pimp slap Mizuku unconscious. It working! But as soon as he wakes up and learns about what he's done, he's just wondering, Oh my god, I didn't... I, uh... Um, I am so sorry. I did not know. Uh, I just didn't. I didn't really. It's all right. You didn't mean to. You. Well, pardon me for saying this, but it happened in the heat of the moment. Uh, no. No, you did not just. I did. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Oh, that, that was lame. But I'm right. <sighs> you didn't mean for that to happen. Things happen when you're in the midst of battle. Your emotions tend to get the better of you. And for what you've told me is your past that is truly holding you back. Just as it is Shoto. What? Did you ever ask him where he got that scar? I would have assumed it was his dad and, you know, ask him. Ask him who did it. Are you sure? Who knows? As yes, Izuku, he does talk to Shoto. The only thing is, Shoto's a little bit hesitant to pretty much approach Izuku after the whole complete utter near annihilation of several villains not to mention that he almost killed his fellow students as well so yeah not really feeling Izuku right now you could say though yes he has apologized a lot everyone just wondering okay seriously dude why did you flip out on us like that him just barely taking a glance at about goes something that happened in my past I uh, just didn't want to feel powerless ever again. And, <laughs> you know. Huh. Oh, well, um, okay. Just promise you'll cool it a little bit, okay? Yeah. I, I don't, I'm sorry. It's fine. It's it's fine. Just come on, man. 
turn it down a little bit. Him just walking away, feeling still a little bit guilty over having such a such terrifying, terrible treatment of someone he called friend once. Bongo knows what caused Izuku to snap. He's just looking. Uh, this is all my fault. In which. Uh, a portion of it, yeah. You can't deny that. He didn't. He sure hell didn't help. But at the end of the day, Izuku. He's actually being uh, monitored when it comes to the heroes. They did get Inko filled in on what happened. Her understanding, Izuku probably has some issues to work on. If anything, they just should have uh, consulted a therapist instead of having him start to hone this power. Hmm, yeah, that could work too. Only thing is, Izuku right now is prideful. If it probably would work better to ask if he was a younger kid, but now he has his pride on the line. He's like, no, I don't need help. All I, all I gotta do is control this myself. That's there's nothing else need to be done. I just need to. <sighs> okay, I'm good. I'm good again. Every, all the teachers have their... He's a ticking time bomb. And given his quirk, yeah, he's gonna... Set the whole world on fire if we don't find him some kind of help. He goes, knowing this to be true, but... Can she force her son to, to seek this help if he doesn't want it? Uh, question mark? Maybe? Yes? No? But anyway, because of the sports festival, that goes a lot similar to the canon. Except Rizuku gives a speech, he's not as prideful as Bakugo, so he's, he has a more motivational speech, not just like, I'm going to win. Only thing is, is they're still going for UA, but at least one A, because you know, getting that hero course. Damn it, do your best. Izuku can fly. Considering he's not just limited to his hands, he out speeds Bakugo and Ida and Todoroki. Hell, he melts Todoroki's ice since he's still anti-fire using, which. Endeavor is actually very much intrigued. Just wondering, okay. Alright, sure, sure, sure. Okay, got some potential. Oh, I was wondering. What if my Jeff ha Hmm. Yes. Could prove to be very useful indeed. As yes, Izuku, when it comes to the cavalry battle, he makes a ring of fire that no one can touch. To the point where, yes, there's a clear incision in the ground of where he actually started to fly on. Sadly, May, she doesn't really get to showcase her inventions here because he's like, uh, What's the use? Yeah, she's in the spotlight, but uh, what's the point if she can't even utilize or even attempt to use her gadgets? There is no point. But when it comes to the fights, oh, poor, poor Izuku. Or should I say Shinso? 
because he starts insulting Izuku. Talking about how lucky he is to have such a powerful quirk. How his life must have been so easy. Just keep piling on more fuel to the fire. Izuku fire blasts Shinzo before giving him an earful. So Shinzo's already eliminated, but Shinzo, in the midst of his descent, is like, Don't kill me! Izuku's stopping. So he does take it to show he cases quirk. The only thing is it's still like he still loses. Now, when it comes to Shoto versus Izuku, Izuku does want to use use the quirk, the only thing is like what's the real point? Though yes, he does use Chalk no Jutsu, the only thing is it's pretty much there is no change. Honestly, yeah, there is no change. He's going to control fire and make his own. To shape it however he sees fit. All Shoto is doing is giving him more fire to work with. Shoto's half and half quirk. He can only use one half to actually take on Izuku. What else can he do? What, what can he hope to do here? So yes, Shoto loses. But uh, Endeavor's pissed off at Finicity, but still, uh, uh, you should still use the quirk, so... Yeah, I'll take what I can get. When it comes to the Ida, like, he does use his reciprocal burst. The only thing is, Izuku, he's like, let me flex on you a little bit. Let me, let me flex. What I mean by that? He does a reciprocal burst too. Just using fire jets. And placing them on his calves. Just pretty much. You look I can do it too. This upsets Ida. People, some people are laughing. But also just amazed at how Izuku can do that you are making a mockery of no I'm not if anything I'm utilizing your quirk better you're not using my quirk you're just using yours that may be true but still still nothing you jerk do you know how much work, how much effort it took me to get... Okay, I understand. I'm sorry. No, no. I have earned my right to vent. This is not fair whatsoever. You're just showing off at this point. Yes. I understand that. You know what? You're right. Let's just do this... Really? You're serious now? You're not going to try no nonsense? Of course not. You're actually going to fight me for real? Yes. Yes, I am. Good. He one shots Ida. For a fireball. That's it. That's all she wrote. Yeah, though he did get the fight he wanted, he still got his ass whooped. Oh well. Now, when it comes to the whole ooh, Bakugo fight, Isuku, he knows that he could go all out and risk possibly killing Bakugo. It's like, is it worth it? No. No, it's not. Bakugo... He doesn't even start sparking explosions. He doesn't even bother. Because he knows that Izuku is probably going to just reroute them. Or snuff them out. There's no point. So it is a fist to cuff battle. Them just train blows. Izuku could easily just 
beat Bakugo, considering how much he's sweating, and just light the match. But, no, no. I I'll give him a fair fight this time. This time. As now it is about of endurance. Izuku dodging, bobbing, a weaving, all that goodness. So is Bakugo. If people notice, wow, they are really not going to use their quirks at all. People cheering. Though, yes, it's not as exciting as it could be. The fact that they respect each other enough to follow these non using quirk rules and whatnot. The only thing is, it drags on forever. To the point where midnight cement, I was like, you know what? Use your quirks to the fullest. Only one rule. Yamurai, you cannot snuff out his explosions. Why not? Why why are you give why are you nerfing me? You know exactly why. You're still under uh our supervision. Uh. Touche. Yeah. Very well. It's just, this is when the battle actually does get more fun and entertaining to watch. Especially for the onlookers. He just wishes, like, okay, so... He's sweat enough, so... Just one spark, and he... Bogo is sent flying out of the ring. He tries this episode, but considering how much he's sweating... It's all over the place. And that is how that ends. Izuku is the winner. Bago, though he is a little bit petty for losing, he does realize, yeah, yeah, it's fine. So yeah, he's not restrained. If anything, when it comes to Izuku winning, he's, okay, it, it was only a matter of time. Yeah, I knew as soon as he was able to use his quirk, yeah, I was going to lose at least they tried hmm they tried now as for the internships yeah Izuku gets one a suggestion from uh, Endeavor he takes it only thing is wait a minute him noticing the scowl and the malice emanating from Ida him going to ask is like, oh, everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. No, 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 no that, nope, that, that's psychopathic talk. Tell me what's wrong with you. Everything's fine. Don't you lie to me. As he does inform Mizuku of, yeah, though he knew that he, Tensei got attacked. Izuku didn't know he was paralyzed. So, this. Oh, you want vengeance, do you? Oh, like an addict. Well, revenge isn't everything. Oh, but it feels so good, doesn't it? I wouldn't know. Bull. That, that, that is nonsense. What? The way you've been treating Bakugo, the way you humiliate him at times, the fact that you make him quirkless, you can't just stare me dead in my face and tell me that you don't enjoy doing it. <laughs> yeah, see, you can't lie to yourself. You enjoyed every ounce of punishment you dealt him and so am I once I get my hands on the hero killer Io walks off and Izuku he's like is that all I, is, is that really true am I only using my quirk like this to get back at Katsuki 
I've been given a powerful quirk and this is how I'm using it? <sighs> no. Then he just started getting flashes of all he's done pretty much. He clowns on Bakugo like there's nobody's business and oh, oh no. I... No way. It's true. I, I, all I've been doing is trying to get back at Bakugo. I'm not even doing this to really be a hero. I'm just doing this to get even. And then some. I am not, I'm not a hero, right now I'm just being a bully, who cares if you bullied me before, I, I could have been the bigger person, but no, no, I decided to be petty, I decided you just flaunt my power that I didn't even know I had until he left. Oh, what happened to me? Huh. You know what? I can worry about that later. Right now, I need to help Ida. I need to save him from himself and from making such a terrible mistake. As, yes, Izuku, when it's time for the internships, He's looking for Ida. Because of the Nobu attack, he just one shots each Nobu easily. Just one, two, three. You're dead, dead. All that nonsense. When it comes to finding Stain, he finds him pretty much the same as he did in canon. Only thing is, when he calls the show, he's like, I'm going after Hero Killer, I'm saving Ida, and. Hopefully there are no other heroes that are in need of assistance. Izuku knows he can take on Stain. But he has to really think. He's like, if I turn out the heat just enough, I can melt all his equipment. But what about Neyu and Ida? How? Then he just looks at like he is right. He just quirk his calves. If I, if I turn up the heat too much. So yes, he simply has no choice but to really contemplate. Could he risk fucking up Ida terribly? And possibly boiling Native alive? Or is he gonna just... Huh. <sighs> What the conundrum for poor Izuku. By the end of the day, he tries to be the bigger person and actually makes a deal with Stain. I will let you go if you allow me to take Native and Ida to safety. What? Yes. You're willing to let me go. I saw what you did in the, in the sports world. So you could easily defeat me, possibly. But you're willing to let me go. Only to keep this fake hero and this hero, vengeful, vigilante wannabe safe. Yes. A while ago, a friend told me something that opened my eyes. Before I... I wasn't acting like a true hero. Not like I always wanted. And... So, I would like to thank him by... Saving him and whoever I can. So, 
him. Yes. He made you rethink your whole world view or whatnot. He did. <laughs> right. Okay. Say I'm willing to believe that. I don't think I can just get you need uh, why not he's my target if anything that kid was just a bonus I mean I let his brother live and he comes after me you you ruined his hero career at least I left him alive that's more than what any hero could ever ask for Could have killed him by the others. Is that what you would have preferred? <laughs> well, would you rather be burying your brother than spend the rest of your days, at least his, in peace, knowing that you are part of the next generation? Knowing that you are going to take up his mantle. Tell me, which one sounds better? Though, yes, if I killed him, you would have to replace him. But wouldn't it mean so much more to you if he himself gave you... His name to use. <sighs> he, he had no choice but to give it to me. Oh no, he had a choice. <sighs> okay. Kid, you got a deal. You can take Native and the Ingenium wannabe. Uh, yeah, Stain walks off. Ida is hurt. <laughs> then he was like, Thank you. It's fine. <sighs> oh, man. Today's been a long day, hasn't it? And pretty much carrying Native as well as Ida to the nearest heroes and they speak nothing of what happened either way that's done and that's the one now get to the whole test thing in my jig in which considering Yuzuku has been healing All Might and All Might's time limit is becoming more and more of a thing of a past it's not good for them at all. Izuku actually had a couple of plans to really counter this whole way oh, hey, he's a lot stronger now. He actually did come up with something that would actually work. Heat stroke. Makes it, making it so all my heat's up just enough so he has to pass out. Not enough to kill him. But just enough so they can either put cuffs on him or escape. And Bakugo wants to be a uh, completionist. Perfectionist. Well, whatever else you say it. As yes. All Might is handcuffed and they walk out of there. Isuku does admire Bakugo a little bit more, but... He's, those words he has spoke to him before still resonate within his subconscious. He's still wondering, wow, I have been a true asshole to this guy. I didn't have to be. I chose to be. That. Hmm. 
I really need to... I'm finally accepting therapy, which seriously, damn me, girl, you may be considered best mom, but you, you kind of dropped the ball a little bit, didn't you? You didn't think of giving the boy therapy? I mean, his, his self-esteem shot. Seriously. It... If it wasn't for him having to quirk in cannon or being a firebender here, yeah, yeah, he, he's, his confidence is shot to high hell because of all the nonsensical bullshittery that is quirks. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I might have some more whatever ideas in my mind. Either way, upon actually delving into Izuku's psyche, the therapist is like, wow. Hey, you... You held on to that. You did want... Your goal changed to wanting to be the number one hero, to be, you know, to be as great as All Might. To pretty much beating Kotsky Bakugo. For him to be beneath you. Yes. Kid. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. He, that he, Kotsky Bakugo was an ass. But. Uh, to go as far as you did. Huh. I feel for you, but still, you need to really consider, maybe you shouldn't be, uh, uh, at least try to be a hero until you get this sorted out, or try to reconcile with him. What? Yeah, you heard me, reconcile with my preview, my bully. Yes. For all you know, he could have his own agenda or reason for what he said or what he did. Did you try asking him why he's, he stopped being your friend? Or why he keeps constantly putting you down the way he's been doing? You were kids? Uh, uh, you haven't, have you? Uh, no. <sighs> well, maybe it's time that you do have a talk. Hmm? Uh, really? Oh, uh, but I... No buts. Come on in. As yes, this is Miski and Kaski showing up. They're pretty much. Hey, De... <clears throat> Izuku. Kaski. As yeah. First thing Ibago actually says is. Why well, said uh, back in the Heroes vs. Villains? I know you might think that was just me trolling or whatever, me being, uh, you know, trademark asshole, but I actually meant it. What? I meant what I said. I truly am sorry for how I've treated you, and you have been nothing if not a good friend until that point where you pretty much abandoned me. Uh, yeah, you abandoned me. Turned your back. I did. 
Why? I didn't want you to get hurt. What? You see, when I got my quirk, I thought it was amazing. Yeah, I did. I saw it was powerful, which it was. But then I started getting praise from everyone. How wonderful my quirk was. And then I got... Um, started getting complimented by you. Someone I considered to be a rival. Then I, I came to your... Announcement of being diagnosed quirkless. You weren't the only one hurt by that announcement. I felt like I lost some one too. Like what happened to my rival, someone who I know can do great things. And whatnot. But I know how stubborn you are. You probably wouldn't have let having no quirks stop you. Deep down inside, you would probably still cling to hope in being a hero. But, but there's a problem with that. Heroes don't always get to come home. Regardless of their quirk, sometimes. And I. I. Go ahead, Brad, say it. I wouldn't want to be on the field seeing you do your best and end up. Paying the ultimate price for being a hero. All because you had to either rely on support gear, having to possibly break your body just to save, who knows, maybe even one person. I, I, I'm pretty sure you would be crazy enough to do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I probably would. But what really scared me is I didn't want to have to be the one to tell your mom that you fought bravely, but Inko, she is tearing up. Miski, she's holding back her tears because she's trying to be all tough mom and whatnot. Yuzuku, he's fighting back his tears because like I won't don't want to give anyone the satisfaction to see me cry again. Is Bakugo, he's just letting the waterworks flow. Though yes, in his fucked up esque way, Bakugo was trying to actually protect Izuku. Trying to get him like no a no, don't be a hero. Be something else. Be something less dangerous. I don't want to, you risking your life and getting hurt or too bad or worse. All for what? Saving a few people? Being a hero? Yes. I mean, it takes uh, determination, but at the end of the day... You're going to have to be capable of protecting yourself, aren't you? And, yeah. Izuku, upon hearing this from Bakugo of all people, realizing that, yeah, he still cared about me, they hug and make up.
And that is how this part ends. You are welcome.